I'm a website manager for BettyCrocker.com. Hi, Mike. We've enjoyed our day here at General Mills and getting a look at the uh, um, Betty Crocker Kitchen Assistant. A um, question for you uh, is, uh, where did the vision of this uh, application come from? It's very innovative, it's coming to market, and it's going to be in people's kitchens. And where's the genesis of the idea? Well, I think that the genesis of the idea is both with Microsoft and with us. They kind of came to us with this idea uh, and really touched a spark in, in my mind about what the future of our digital products are going to be in our consumer's house. Uh, and, and so we talked about this vision of, you know, what's the next, what's the next level of a cookbook in a kitchen? Uh, and how do we get our digital programming directly to the kitchen uh, in, a, in a useful way uh, for uh, the user? This solution now is featured on Windows 7 and it's on a touch smart computer but you've also built this for a broader audience in different platforms. So what are all the platforms you're looking at supporting? Sure, so uh, this will be supported in XP, Vista, and in Windows 7. Obviously it's optimized for Windows 7 uh, and optimized very specifically for the touch screen, so we're really excited about that. But we are, it is important to have it be backwards compatible to the other operating systems. So Betty Crocker's uh, website has been around for a long time, has an enormous user base, is quite popular. Um, now you've created a new channel that actually comes uh, right within your consumer's home. Uh, what does having that kind of new kind of channel or relationship to the consumer mean uh, for Betty Crocker? Well, what we know is that uh, our consumer doesn't think of us in terms of our channels. They just think of us as us. Uh, what we need to do is to really uh, make good on that promise to be where the consumer needs us when they need us. Uh, and this is a, a wonderful a new way that we're able to, fill, to fulfill that promise. We saw in one of the earlier demos that um, besides the application, there's also featured a sidebar gadget. And that's a unique opportunity to have the Betty Crocker brand um, persistent right on their working surface um, for the productivity user. At the same time, uh, it was shared with us that uh, there's a social networking aspect of this, the ability to share, uh, share and rank recipes. So what does it mean to start to get feedback from your consumers based on the recipes and the analytics that, that are behind this? Yeah, well, I mean, the, the, the notion of our users to be able to sort of share and review our recipes has been around for a long time online. Uh, this extends that capability uh, to this new environment. We love it. We love hearing from our consumers. We, we love the ability to sort of take a look at what they're saying and improve our product. Uh, and we're, we're just delighted that this, this is just another way uh, that they can interact with us. On the sharing piece, uh, we've built in the ability for users to share with each other, which is, uh, we know, equally important, uh, particularly when you know, people are just trading different ideas or coordinating a, a, a dinner together. It's pretty exciting seeing this today. We've had a number of people uh, into the Betty Crocker kitchen to experiment with it. Um, they've had a pretty positive reaction. When will this become available to the public? Well, we have a beta uh, set to release on October 22nd, along with the Windows 7 uh, release. And then we uh, plan on a version 1.0 around November 5th. All right. And uh, as a home consumer, uh, where will I go to find this application? We'll have it uh, prominently uh, featured on BettyCrocker.com. Thank you for your time today, Mike, and look forward to um, the launch of this application. Thank you.